Hey, this week's Money in Minutes, we went to the street to see what all of you think about the financial service industry. So check it out. I do feel a little bit suspicious of them, yeah, especially with this controversy over do they have to be fiduciaries or not, and they're all like, what, it's going to destroy the industry, and I'm like, really? If you have to be honest, it's going to destroy the industry? That seems a little fish. Okay. It makes sense to have a coach, right. but not necessarily someone that's going to do it for you. Got it. Yes. Right. That makes sense. That makes sense. I would imagine distrustful, but I feel like they know what they're doing, but they charge you a, a fee to do it. Yeah. Why don't you trust people in the financial world? Because I don't know them, and uh, I think um, that maybe they just want to get money themselves and don't uh, <laughs> and don't really help me. <laughs> and so, if you check the back of people and listen to people you trust, and not just um, like cold call people or anything like that, then 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 you have a greater likelihood of succeeding and yeah. getting what you want. Yeah, I feel like they want to invest, but for their, for their gain, not necessarily yours. So they don't always have you in, you in their best interest, basically. Well, I wouldn't say that, but I know they're, they do, but I feel like they don't also. Okay. No, that's, that's common, yeah. Nice. So yeah. then they can charge you more. If you put it in a different fund, they yes. can get more. Yes. At, whatever fund you invest in yeah right yeah that's common yeah we know they're knowledgeable but we're thinking okay are they trying to sell me a product and get a commission or are they trying to do something that's in my yeah. best interest yeah we hear that a lot and what are your general feelings like about financial people like is it a negative stigma or indifferent stigma like what do you when you think financial people financial advisors what's your normal reaction well, I think that everybody's trying to do good in this world. I, I really do. Okay, I like it. And yeah. we work hard and just look at who you trust. That's all. All right. A lot of good information. People are not really that trustful of financial people, which I guess is not that shocking. That's true. That's true. I think we hear that a lot. Um, and I think what we heard today is a lot of people are really fearful of the fees that advisors are charging. Yeah. But the bigger thing is, what are those fees for? Is it because it's in the advisor's best interest or is in your best interest as an investor? So we actually created a guide for you guys to really make sure you're keeping it simple. So when it comes to all this financial jargon, make sure you're on top of it, really give you all the basics. So click on the link below. You guys can get to that. Also, click below. You can subscribe to our weekly content to make sure you guys are up to date on all of your financial needs. And as always, be, be bullish. bullish.